hi and welcome back to the channel um, I was just doing a video updated um, last week um, the last video and I do apologize for it my camera was playing up and I didn't realize it was recording and not recording um, so I tried to edit the best video I could on the last one I put the exhaust on and I showed you about using gun gum how to seal the gun gum uh, you need heat on it um, I put the flywheel cowlings on the, the dust cover and the circlip um, I've come to just check on um, the rear hub, rear hub. I don't know what that was I've come to check on the rear hub prior to um, spraying it and I'm just I'm not satisfied how it goes on the axle it's just a tad loose and um, because it's somebody's life if not my own I'm not using that rear hub um, it's just it, for what they cost it's not worth you know putting your life at risk for 40 odd quid or whatever um, I've got one on my GP which I'm going to put on this engine and um, I'll get a new one for my GP engine because I've got to strip that down yet so um, also as well with the exhaust and I will show this on another um, video uh, I've had to cut off part of the you know the part that comes down and goes on the rubber and unfortunately I've been a bit too eager and I've taken about three or four mil too much um, I can weld that back on but worst case scenario I'll change the kickstart um, lever over to one I've got on my GP at the moment like I say um, the next bike I'll probably be doing is my GP because I need to do the, the oil seals I've got them um, it, it's just where do you stop you know then I've got my LI to do um, with this E10 petrol that they keep bringing out you know and they keep moving the goalposts on us you know, you think when these were designed, it was five star leaded petrol. So, you know, that's why the timings come down right the way down. I'm running this one at 17. My GP's running at 17. Uh, my P200's running at 21. Uh, my Series 2's running at 17. It, you know, and my GS is running at um, about 25. I've moved that slightly as well from 27 de degrees before top dead centre. Um, simply to get it to run a bit cooler um, you know I, I'm looking at you know five bikes that I'm gonna to have to do engines just to you know if I want to use them on the road it's ridiculous all that you know cash time uh, it's content for my channel so you know I, I can't moan too much but um, do I want to be rebuilding engines I mean my GS was restored last year and it looks like I'm gonna to have to take that engine apart so uh, like I say, it's good content, but all the, you're taking an engine apart just to put two um, oil seals on, you know, um, the, the ones in the engine are perfectly good, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, on my last video, like I say, I apologise, my camera was playing up and the video to me is all over the place, but I edited it um, as best as I could, um, so that it sort of made some sense. I was trying to well, I did actually show step by step what to do with the exhaust, how to put it on, you know, literally bit by bit, which didn't come out properly. I put the cowlings on, the dust cap. Um, like I say, this will probably still need cutting down. I've got um, new uh, spade connectors for that. So, um, you know, it's not at the moment it's up for sale. If nobody wants it, then, um, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. I might even stick it in my GP frame for a while. And run it around in that while it just gives me time to uh, do my GP engine up then um, you know without sort of being under pressure because it's not moving and what have you so um, I've only got my um, series 2 on the road at the moment because of the uh, the COVID situation you know I normally have all my bikes um, if not MOT'd and taxed and insured you know they're ready to go there's, there's I've normally got my P200 is my uh, go to scooter if I'm you know if I'm ever not sure of getting anywhere I'll just pull that out and go on my Vespa P200e um, you know it's as good a bike as uh, any I've ever seen on the road anyway it always starts always stops always goes but uh, you know with this new petrol that might be a problem so I will get around to doing them oil seals as well um, I mean I built that engine about five years ago but that was all German bearings and oil seals etc brand new crank in that at the time uh, new clutch um, plates everything in it really cruciform um, 
cush drive you know a bit like this engine you just go through them and anything where you think you know this is going to cause me a problem then you know it, it's your life or it's your money you want to break down the side of the road feel free but to me i want to go with minimal tools i want to go and enjoy myself when i go out on them so um anybody who knows me knows i don't tend to take tools with me i uh i tend to uh test the bike make sure the cables are all you know if anything sort of looks a bit dodgy like a cable or whatever i'll just change it prior to going out on it so um <clears throat> Well, that's just me so it served me well over the years um like i keep saying you you know your spark plug is your lifesaver that that will keep an engine um in tip-top condition provided that you can be bothered to take it out from time to time and check that the engine's running uh, cool and um you know you've got the the right color on the plug your plug's your lifesaver it will tell you um, everything about your bike the condition of the bikes running I mean obviously clutches wear out um, especially on tuned bikes uh, the Lambretters eat, eat the clutches if they're standard but there are cassette clutches etc um, anyway I'm going to end this now um, and I will um, now my camera's back working again I'm going to order a, a hub for my own bike and like I say at the, at the at this time I'll get my teeth put in I'm going to put the GP hub that I've got on my bike because um, this engine might end up in my bike and it, it's, you know, it's like a purple colour anyway to match my um, scooter. So um, Kawasaki, some Kawasaki colour it was sprayed in. I uh, can't remember exact colour now. Persimmon or something like that. <clears throat> Whereas um, I intend to do, to do this engine with, a you know, a silver hub, which I've got the paint for. Um, auto tech i think i've shown that on a previous visit i do all my wheels with this um it, it's akin to uh in my opinion you know a stove in ameline i've got like i say my, my peter 105 years i've sprayed it you know near near a six to that and and the wheels polished up as good as they ever did so you know it's it's great stuff i recommend that and you know you can get it for 450 or four quid if you shop around to buy a few of them off the of ebay etc um well worth it the engine was already powder coated prior to me buying it and uh, when we get the rear hub on and i've got it running then i'm gonna go through and crunch the numbers and we'll see if this was a worthwhile um you know exercising basically rebuilding a, an engine that would probably never be built again so um, we've not had a single oil leak from it. I know it's only been standing there, but I have been cranking the engine over. Um, there's no oil anywhere on the on the bench, which is a great sign. Shouldn't have any oil anyway, you know, if you do the job properly. But uh, you do see these horror videos of, you know, people building engines and they're leaking, etc. And I don't know. I don't tend to have that. It sounds big-headed, I know, but um, it's what i keep saying as above and over a dealer you've got time so unless you're under pressure to get you know you go to work on your bike or whatever generally they're um they're toys basically aren't they that we uh lavish uh, a very lavish lifestyle on at the moment so you know you you can afford you know, oh i need to change that bearing okay then i don't need to do it now or i can spend a week doing that you know whereas a dealer's got to do that and get it back to you within a short period of time so they're always under pressure to um to repair and, and turn over because it's their livelihood if you like You're, where it's not costing you anything in labor um and time you can literally you you can spend years building it if you want to you know what i mean polish everything um get them all aqua blasted and you know it's better than new basically so um you know if you needed heli coils or you needed welding on your engine or whatever um you can send that out to be done and you know you've got to know your limitations as i said at the start of these videos when you're building an engine it's literally you know can i do that if it's way past and you're looking at videos not just mine but other people's videos on on the internet and you think no that's beyond my capabilities or you know i know i've got a hammer out but that's not for, not for this engine I've been knocking the table apart, which I'm going to be using for um, for a stand for this to get it going. So, because what I want to do is run it outside of a frame first, 
Um, what I tend to do when I get a bike running is I turn the tick over up, so I let them run. Um, it was a tip from racing people always told me years ago that they'd either jack up the back wheel and leave it running in the garden on you know on in gear so it'd be under load the engine and um, do it on a fast tick over stopping it every hour or so to cool down and it was a way of um, quickly running in an engine you know as opposed to loading and you actually driving your scooter up and down hills and what have you where I live um, you go out of town and it's all open countryside so <clears throat> the the average you know joe blogs driving his car doesn't seem to realize that you know you're driving something that's 50 60 years old and it might be rebuilt and you might be running it in you know i'm not a person that sticks a sticker on please pass run in you know if they can't drive that's down to them so um but stay safe everybody and i'll catch you up on the next video which at least now my camera's working again cheers for now stay safe bye